This segment is numbered 44 on the series of talks on planet Earth. Today, my subject is fern wind. Fern, a German word fern means warm and dry or gusty wind that periodically descends the leeward slopes of nearly all mountains and mountain ranges. The name was first applied to a wind of this kind that occurs in the Alps mountains where the phenomenon was first studied. A fern results from the ascent of moist air up the windward slopes as this air claims it expands and cools until it becomes saturated with water vapor, after which it cools more slowly because its moisture is condensing as rain or snow, releasing latent heat. By the time it reaches the peaks and stops climbing, the air is quite dry. The ridges of the mountains are usually obscured by a bank of clouds known as a fern wall, which marks the upper limit of precipitation on the windward slopes. As the air makes its leeward descent, it is compressed and warms rapidly all the way down slope because there is little water left to evaporate and absorb heat. Thus, the air is warmer and drier when it reaches the foot of the leeward slope than when it begins its windward ascent. The pass was created in the Alps when a huge mountain slide filled part of the valley to a height of 300 to 400 meters, distributing its boulders up to 16 kilometers away. While it was initially believed that this had happened at least 12,000 years as a consequence of the strong temperature increase and intense runoff after the end of the last deglaciation, pollen analysis performed as early as 1940 had already indicated an age of not much more than 4,000 years, an estimate that was essentially confirmed by radiocarbon dating in the 1960s. Using uranium-thorium dating, scientists from Innsbruck University who published their data in 2007 dated the event to 4,250, which corresponds to the later stages of the Alpine Neolithic period. The landscape is marked by a series of lakes, the largest of which is the Blind Sea. Most of these are believed to have been created by the mountain slide. I got a video animation on fern. I let you enjoy. When the wind rises up along the slope of a mountain, it cools down, leaving behind clouds bearing rain and snow. On the other side of the mountain, the now dry wind descends. The air is compressed and heated up. Such a wind is called fern in the Alps and chinook in some areas of the Rocky Mountains. 